So today I'm in the South Downs National Park to solo camp for my birthday. So I'm currently on the South Downs way, making my way towards the beachy head cliffs. The plan is to go there and find a place to camp for the night. This is actually my first time solo camping and I'm taking you guys along to experience it with me. I've been using the tripod as a walking stick on the way up and I managed to lose one of the feet so if any of the shots look a bit slanted, that's why. After walking for just over an hour, I reached the top of the cliffs and arrived at Beachy Head. So the plan is to head down there where there's a little bit of cover and set up. But almost instantly, I got distracted. I had to take a quick detour because I found these guys. Let me show you them now. I offered him some of the premium grass that was out of reach and he done me foul. Fresh off the back of that rejection, I was on my way. When traveling and filming, sometimes you can forget to live in the moment. So I decided to have a seat, take a breather and enjoy the views. And I'm glad I did. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw this rabbit sleeping. I had no idea rabbits even lived on cliffs. Look at this guy Clifford with the original character energy. I ended up staying there too long and the sun started to set. I had to make a move to find a good spot to pitch up before it got too dark. So the sun is setting. I think the plan is to pitch up here. I was looking for some better, flatter ground, but the sunset kind of beat me in the race. So I think this is going to have to do. I managed to get a tent up just in time for the best part of the sunset. So the sun's almost finished setting now. There's not many clouds in the sky, so there should be quite a lot of stars. So it's currently 20 past 12. I've been sat outside for the last couple of hours just watching the stars. I've been trying to figure out if there's a way that I could show you guys, but the cameras that I bought, they just won't really allow for it. Anyway, the clouds are starting to roll in, so I figured that's a good time to get some rest and call it a night. It's been a long day. The plan tomorrow is to get up at sunrise before it starts to get busy here. So I'll see you guys then. What a place to wake up. The sun was rising, there was nobody around, and it was super peaceful. I'm not much of a traditional birthday person, so this is exactly how I imagined it would be. I moved the tent closer to eat breakfast with a nicer view, which ironically, I ended up sitting facing away from because of the whole sun and filming thing. Before starting to pack up, with the aim of getting out of there, before it started to get busy for the day. As someone that's lived in the city the majority of my life, this stuff never gets old. As I was making my way back, I saw the horse from yesterday. Surely I couldn't go over two. Wrong. So solo camping was a really enjoyable experience. I think I'm gonna do more of it going forward. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. And here's a preview of what should be coming next. I'm gonna be doing over 1,000 miles around Scotland with my brother and some members from the car community. Will my love for cars change? And more importantly, will I want to learn to drive?